like a present for my husband. What kind of thing are you looking for? I'm not sure. Something for him to wear? No, I don't think so. What about a record? That's a good idea. Classical or modern? Probably modern. <laughs> Come on then. Let's go to the music department. Which way shall we go? Up here, I think. Right. Yes. It's yes. Not Hello. When you go to the shops, do you know exactly what you want? Today's program is about two kinds of people. Those who know what they want and those who aren't sure. It's also a lesson in how to sell things. Gentlemen, it's very clear. We have one job and you both want it. So I'm going to give you two easy tests. First, tell me which of those would be a good customer. Would it be easy to sell something to him or to her? To her. To him. All right. Second test. Mr. Green. Yes? I want you to sell this to Mr. Smart. Sell it? Yes. You work in a shop and Mr. Smart comes in. He wants to buy a present for his brother. Sell him that watch. Good morning. Oh, uh, uh... Good morning. I'd like a present for my brother, please. What kind of thing are you looking for? I'm not sure. Something for him to wear? No, I don't think so. Well, what about a watch? This is a very nice watch. Look. Oh, yes. Very nice. That's a good idea. How much is it? Uh, 50 pounds. I'll take it. Good. Oh, just a minute. I remember now. His wife is giving him a watch. I'll give him a camera instead. I haven't got a camera. Uh, I don't sell them. Oh. Oh, well, I'll go somewhere else. Goodbye. No, wait. Sorry. You didn't sell him the watch. Well, no, but... Uh, Can you sell it to him? Of course. Oh, no, you can't. What kind of thing are you looking for? I'm not sure. Something for him to wear? Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like a present for my brother, please, and I know what I want. Oh, good. I want a record. Oh, that's a very good idea, sir. Something classical or modern? Something classical, please. Well, what about some Chopin? Um... This is a very nice record, sir. <clears throat> All right, I'll take that. Uh, three pounds, sir, please. <laughs> what about the watch? Ah, yes, the watch. I'm very glad you didn't buy that. You are? Yes, it's the last one. I've sold 20 of these this morning. I want this one myself. You've sold 20? Of course! Look! It's real gold, a beautiful watch. A watch like this costs... A hundred and fifty pounds. A hundred and fifty pounds. And I'm selling them for two pounds. So of course I've sold twenty. I could sell a hundred of them. Two pounds? And it cost a hundred and fifty? Yes. So I'm going to buy this one myself. Can't I buy it? Oh, but sir! You want the record. No, no, no. I'll take the watch. <laughs> For two pounds. Okay, smart. You get the job. What? I sold you the watch. Oh! No! Oh. Wait a minute, Mr. Russell. <laughs> the other test. The two customers. She must be the good customer. She's rich. He's got no money. And why is she rich? Because she doesn't spend any money. Right. And why has he got no money? Because he buys everything. 
Oh, I see. All right. Goodbye, then. You can start on Monday, Mr. Smart. Thank you, Mr. Russell. Now, let me tell you about our business. I'd like a present for my brother. I'll tell you more on Monday, Mr. Smart. I want to go home early tonight. I'm watching that film about the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, yes, so am I. I can get home in time to see it. Yes, it's only... Do you really think that McTavish saw the Loch Ness Monster? Father! Well, I'm not saying he did see it, and I'm not saying he didn't see it. All I can tell you is that during the last few years, he thinks that he's seen Nessie lots of times. But does he really see her? Well, you see that rock over there? Yes. One day, he thought that was the monster. And then, there was a dead cow in the rock once. He thought that was the monster. And then he thought a motorboat was Nessie, and a free log floating in the water, and a lot of other things. He thinks that everything he sees is a Loch Ness monster. I see. So perhaps what he saw yesterday was not the monster at all. Well, he can't see very well. It could have been anything. But it could have been Nessie. Oh, it could. I'm not saying it couldn't. <laughs> I'd like your father. I know he's a bit strange, and that he's an old man, and that he can't see very well. But I hope he really has seen the Loch Ness Monster. I hope that we see the monster, and we can take a photograph of it and get back to London soon. <laughs> ah, here comes Mr. McTavish. Mr. McTavish, is this where you saw the monster yesterday? Yes. I was just here. And I saw this awful monster. Over there! We've been here for over two hours now. This is not a dog. She won't come when you call. I'll start with the chicken leg. Could you pass me a ham sandwich? Mr. McTavish, you take this. If you see anything, press this button and it takes pictures automatically. Oh, I know how to use a camera, that's it. You leave it to me. If I see Nessie, <laughs> I'll take a photograph of her. Good. Well, here we go. Ah, uh, the 
It's you, Mr. Brooks. Have you seen her? It's her. It's Mercy. Well, I'm sorry you've had a wasted journey. Honestly, Father, that is the limit. How could you possibly mistake Nigel and Betty for the Loch Ness Monster? Well, anybody can make a mistake. I hope I didn't ruin your camera. No, it's waterproof. Never mind. Even if we didn't see the Loch Ness Monster, we had a marvellous time. Yeah, speak for yourself. Well, goodbye, and thanks for everything. You can see the last part of that story next time. Today, we want you to remember... What kind of thing are you looking for? Something for him to wear. I'd like a present for my brother. You know, I think we did find the Loch Ness Monster. What? Yes, it's McTavish. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>